Yep. In the context of what you were just talking about, can you explain <clears throat> your stand on the numerous tax cuts that have been voted through the legislature in the last few years? So there was um, one major one, uh, Senate 509, that was passed in 13, I guess, 14 maybe? I don't know what year it was now. Uh, that, and that will go into effect, the first year that it can go into effect would be the upcoming fiscal year, I believe. Um, so, so we passed that tax cut and um, we did it as, as carefully uh, and as um, pragmatically as we, as we could. And so what we did was put growth triggers in place to say that if, if there is a, uh, a bad year, if, if the, the economy shrinks in the state, uh, or if revenues, do not, if revenues don't go up by a certain amount, uh, then we're not going to cut cut um, the tax rate for that year, and then it was split up into five different years. So, so not only is it um, based on growth, but it's also um, based on if you're not, we're not cutting everything. Else. So, you know, a lot of folks have uh, rhetorically compared what we've done, or uh, well, what we've done with with Senate Bill 509 to what Kansas has done. Let me just lay this out on the line. What Kansas did was ridiculous. Uh, it was it was short-sighted, uh, it was it was narrow-minded, uh, it was not well thought out. And if you heard if you could hear the backstory, and I don't know the whole thing, but the, the legislature kind of put Brown back in a corner and, and he shouldn't have probably signed the bill and he did. Um, and and it, they're, they're suffering dearly for it. Do I think that Missouri is in any way going to go down that road at any point because of Senate Bill 509? Absolutely not. 